Hi, this is a day in the life of a crisis texting volunteer. I was feeling cereal, so we had cereal this morning. Then it was time to feed my bunny radish. Before I get started, I also like to turn on some music so I can stay grounded and focused throughout my shift. Then it's time to log in. I launch the platform and the first thing I like to do once I'm logged in is check in with my supervisor. Whenever I'm on the platform, I always have a supervisor and they're there if I need anything throughout my shift. This big green button is how I start talking to texters. It's 100% anonymous and people can message in on the computer or on text. A lot of people wonder what kind of conversations I deal with during the shift. It really ranges. It can be abuse, domestic, or emotional, and then it can also be substance abuse, suicidal thoughts, self-harm, drug use. I've really seen it all, but I do feel supported. We have a ton of different resources, 27 pages of them, and different walkthrough things on the site to help us deal with complex conversations. And as I mentioned before, we also always have our supervisors to reach out to. I take breaks throughout my shift. This break, I made a smoothie. It was raspberry and mango and it was really good. This is all the feedback I can access on the platform. It helps me keep motivated and reminds me why I'm doing all of this. I'm so grateful to be able to volunteer with Crisis Text Line. It is such a great experience as a volunteer. I feel so supported and to be able to support others who may not have people in their lives who can listen and provide resources is such a great gift. To think about the impact that I have on people's lives is so gratifying. I cannot recommend being a volunteer more. Definitely check out the information and I hope to see you on the platform sometime.